Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Esports Analysis. In today's video, we're hopping back on board with Scump as he, RCD's Envoy, Formal, and Gunless from the Chicago Huntsman take on Accuracy, Attach, Temp, Zuma, and Zero of the New York Subliners. Real quick note about the gameplay, I chose this match for a very specific reason. Towards the end of this map, Huntsman went ahead and they made a really clutch play that ended up securing them the win, so I just wanted to choose this gameplay in particular just because it's a really good point to make here at the end of this game. Now as we go ahead, take a step back and actually get into the analysis of this game. In the bottom right hand corner, for anybody that's new to my videos, you can see that there's a one right in the middle of the map and that represents the very first hard point that we're on right now. There's a red box and there's a green box. Red box is where you don't want to be spawning either for to have best position on the current hill or if we're talking about spawns for the next hill as we go throughout the hills i go ahead and i'll clarify that but green box is where you want to be red box is where you don't want to be so if we're watching seth right now chicago is trying to go ahead and they're trying to flip this hard point because where they spawned that's on the opposite side so for number one it doesn't really matter all that much normally number one the first hill on every map is just kind of scrap time if you can get like a 13 point lead like Chicago has right now that's fantastic but otherwise the whole point of this is to go ahead and flip spawn so that you have possession for the second hard point as it goes ahead and rotates so as we go ahead we rotate back from the first hill to the second hill you can notice that the second hill is all the way in the top right hand side of that mini map in order to get the most points out of this side you want to also be getting that spawn so as you're watching Seth right now he's just trying to get somebody out of the hard point just to try to save a little bit of points right there because obviously they're not going to go ahead and they're not going to flip this spawn with about 30 seconds left there might be a couple that are pushing but you can see most people if you look at the mini map behind Seth most people are trying to run out to that other side so to that cliff side of the map so that they can stop rotations as they go ahead and prepare to rotate over to the third hard point one thing that I do want to point out with like about 14 seconds left on this current hill is that the score is pretty close so given the fact that Chicago didn't have spawns for the second hard point the score is a lot closer than you would expect it to be and the reason for that is because they were able to slay out a little bit on that first hill so remember they had like a 13 point lead going into that second hill so as they went ahead and they were trying to push that second hill it didn't cost them too badly that they didn't have spawns for that one because they were able to gain some time on that first hill if you've been paying attention to the mini map in the bottom right hand corner we are now on the third hill and this is where it's important to keep the spawn that Seth just got on screen right now so you want to make sure that you get that back spawn because if you get that back spawn not only are you in a pretty good position for th the third hard point but what's really important is that you're in really good position for that fourth hard point so the third hard point you can really take control of from either side it's not like you have to be on this side of the map so the third hard point it's kind of like the first it's a little bit scrap time but the fourth hard point, this is where if you have cave spawns and if you're pushed up into BDOM and this little mini cave over here on the right, then you can lock down the entirety of these 60 seconds. So that's what these teams are trying to do right now is they're trying to secure that back spawn so that when it rotates to the fourth hard point, they have the proper spawns and then they can try to maximize the points from that fourth hard point. One thing I'd like to point out right now is if you look at the kill feed on the left-hand side, it went basically completely red. They're, they just got four dead right there. So Chicago went four dead, which allowed New York to go ahead and push up into the hard point a little bit. There was kind of a wasted opportunity here. They had control of the hill. They had control of the spawns, and then they just weren't able to secure their kills. The hard point went ahead and it switched hands, and now they're kind of struggling a little bit to get back inside. So right now, if you're a coach for New York, this is a really big win. They didn't have spawns there. They really didn't have any control in terms of this hard point at all. So now that there's about 25 seconds left, they did go ahead. Now the kill feed went blue. So four went ahead and went down. There is still Zuma over here, um, but they're just going to finish them off right there. And now that there's about 15 seconds left, Chicago not only went ahead and they took back control of the hard point, but as there's even less time left, they have to try to flip spawn so that they can get in position for the fifth hard point, which is on the opposite side of the map. And right now they're not prepared to do that at all. As we go ahead and prepare here for this to transfer from the fourth hard point to the fifth hard point, if you look at the mini map in the bottom right hand corner, you absolutely don't want to be spawning near the middle of the map here. Essentially, there's only two ways to get into this this fifth hard point you can either approach from where you see right there i think that was rc or formals that was rc's so where scum set right now he just got stuck so this is a major choke point is that you either have to approach from the cliff's edge over there or you have to run right down the middle of the cave so where scum was pre-aiming right there just the the route that's to the right of there so this one is just one that's really hard to break if you don't have initial control of this hill this is one of the hardest hard points to break in the game just because there's only two ways that you could possibly get into it and not only is there only two ways 
ways, but there are massive head glitches guarding both of those ways. So it's not just location, it's the fact that trying to go through those choke points is really tough just because, again, there are nasty head glitches and trying to get pros with ARs off of head glitches, it can be really terrible. So if we go ahead and we think about the first round of rotations as a whole there, Chicago did end up pushing through and they were able to get three or four seconds left, but right now the hard point is rotating back towards the middle hill. So you might have been guessing or you might have been asking yourself, why was Chicago still pushing that fifth hill there? And the reason why they were still trying to push that fifth hill is that they're already thinking about spawns for two. So right now we're already back to the middle hard point. And remember for that middle hard point, you want to have the spawns by two because the middle hard point doesn't matter all that much. A lot of times that middle hard point is just a ton of scrap time. So what Chicago is trying to do is they're trying to push out that second spawn location so that they can have spawns for number two and in number two that's where you can just like number four if you have control of spawns and you're pushed up into two you can max out 60 seconds on those hard points two and four so that's what they're trying to do right now right now you saw that the entire kill feed just went blue so they're really trying to push out that spawn take control of it so as it rotates to two they're the place they want to be now, as Chicago goes ahead and they push through this back spawn, you're going to see that they're set up for that second hard point now. And this is about the time in these analysis videos where I like to go ahead and I like to do a listen in. I want you to be able to hear what they're talking about, how they're communicating, what's the number one thing that's important to them. So for the next hill or two, let's go ahead, let's hop into a listen in. You can hear exactly what they're saying and exactly what they're thinking about in terms of strategy moving forward. Hill got me attached. Yeah, nice, let's go. Got him, got him. Hey, Max, look at the back line. Back line. I just needed you. Oh, Under your time. Yeah, think, dude. Yep. Look at I'm looking behind us, though. Top, I got wall bang. I'm getting down a time. Top, of Top dead. Back. Up behind you. I spawned you. I got a new wrapping around. Front, front end. Wrapping around. Front, I think, Alex. Maybe. Or I'm ignoring him. As this goes ahead and it rotates to hill number three, you can see that Arcides is pushing around trying to get that third spawn. So I didn't want to talk too loud, but just keep that in mind as you're watching the next few seconds here. Weak zone right now. Up broken, up broken, Trey, weak. I got Zuma you, I got you. As well. Yeah, Zuma got me. Trying to get a silo. I'm going to get yellow. I'm going to kill him on a new cave again. One's yellow. Trying to go yellow. Wait, he's short cave, he's short cave. We should get a spawn since he's there. Yellow, one shot. Up 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 yellow, one shot. Spawn here? Trying to... Oh, wait, Bottom broken, dead, 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 Top silo, top silo. I'm going new, I'm going new. Room, um, just watch over top silo. Top silo so you might be wondering real quick why exactly this is going the way it is. Even though Chicago doesn't have spawns, they're able to slay out here. So they're getting the vast majority of the kills that are inside the hill. So even though they didn't have spawns, they were able to slay out inside of the hill. They were able to push up into like those middle choke points and not allow anybody to get towards the hill. So they built a lead here even though they didn't have the spawns that they probably wanted to have. Back into a listen in. Guys, all work our side together. Okay, I hear that. I hear that. They won't. The closest guy yeah, will be middle, gone. Middle, middle. He's on. He's on the mid. They're mid head glitch. Snipers. Mid -head uh, uh, I'm getting okay. short. Yes. Oh, what? He dumped up again. They're not playing. They're they're just playing tight. Snipers are still Lamar. I'm wor I'm working. They're terribly close. Hill. I'm jumping Alex. Close side. Close side. Close side. Then. On the heavy Lamar. Close heavy. Got me on the. Alright. One's been on me. Trying to pit. Trying to rotate. Alright. Everyone wait. Let's go right. Everyone wait. Let's go right. I'm back to you guys. I killed the guy. Yeah, you got the guy. You got to be using your nades. Yeah, I killed the guy. Killed the middle. I have a weak hit. We can help. I can't get my smoke. Close, close dead. Close dead. Nice too. I'm at one shot, Alex. Close, close, close. Hurt. Close left. Close left. Back truck. Back truck. Back truck. I saw you out. One team mid, guys. One team mid. Oh, you're you're a joke. You're a joke. Close, close, close. Weak. Really weak. Close. Uh, close on the. Come back, Kate. Be on new. On new already. Help you on new. I'm pitching you. Oh, middle. Shot. Middle dead, middle dead. I spawn cave, I spawn cave, I'm playing old. Stunned over. I don't see Trey. He was oh, beat on, beat on, beat on. Wait, push up close, yeah. Dead, 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 dead. Two caves, two caves, two caves. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the heading. I'm on the heading. I'm getting top yellow. Can you move the back We have caves, yeah. All right, so as we go ahead and we rotate into this fifth hill again, what you'll notice is that on that fourth hill, 
Chicago ended up giving away like the first 20 seconds or so. And then they went ahead and they were able to slay out. So there was a spawn of like a span of like 10 or 15 seconds where nobody controlled that fourth hill. And then they were able to get some of that points back. So as they went ahead and they slayed out in the fourth hill, now they've rotated. Seth is on like a tear here. That was like his sixth kill in a row. He does end up dying. But right now, if you look at the scoreboard, it's starting to turn in Chicago's favor. So 211 to 200. Again, this match is really close. This is one that was one of the closest that I saw. Formal gets a massive four piece there. So he gets a quad feed but they're not able to necessarily take advantage of that because they're not inside the hill for those kills. That right there was a really big nade by Seth. That ended up saving them like eight seconds. Just keep that in mind. They're mid. They're mid. They're mid. Yeah, one's top zone, 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 and top zone. There's three here, bro, three yellow. Yo, I'm gonna... Oh, he turned. Top yellow, 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 Yeah, low yellow, Lamar, Lamar's dead, one more hill. I'm working low, make sure she cut the hill, Pierce. I think he'll swing close, okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop back in with you here. You can see it's 220 to 216, so this game is really close. And as we move forward here, if Chicago was to go ahead and go every second, get every second in that middle hard point, they would go ahead and win. But right now, you see that they spent just a couple seconds out of the hard point not capturing that time. So what that means is that you're not going to be able to win off of this first hard point. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to transfer back to the second hard point again. So if you're a Chicago fan right now, you might be a little antsy because they're not going to be able to win from this first hard point and they don't have spawns for the second one so if you look at Seth's mini map right now in the top right hand corner you can see that there are two blue dots circling around the right outside of the map now if you're new york you might be you know screaming to yourself why aren't you watching that and the reason why is because they have to be close to the hill chicago is only two points away from winning so they, they had to be conscious of the front of the hill because if they only have one person in the hill and they have four people kind of watching the cuts and the back spawn and stuff like that then all it would take is to kill that one person that's in and then they could jump in and they could get those final two seconds so right now the spawns went ahead and flipped they're in a great spot right here they end up getting the last two seconds and they end up winning this match so really nice match here i hope you were able to see the importance of just hitting those flanks on that last hill that's what ended up securing chicago the win there so if you're new around here please hit that subscribe button my channel has been growing like crazy i appreciate the support so much and everything you guys have been doing so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything as we head into the CDL season. Make sure you leave a like, and with that, I will catch you in the next one. See you guys.